Nice. We're live. Am I? Oh, I think I'm on the wrong camera. Yeah, but that's fine. How's it going, everyone? We were supposed to do this stream yesterday, but I wasn't feeling great. So we kind of pushed it for today. But a big announcement. So if you guys have seen on the Discord, um, Tiffany here, you know, she's been really active, really great recently, really um, supporting this community. She wanted to do a. Uh, She's organizing like a walk cycle challenge for uh, Women's March. Like that's the, we're celebrating women in March. <laughs> so uh, you can read the rules here, right? It's a, it's a great cause and it's a good way to practice um, your walks and animation. So let's, let's do that today. It's pretty simple to enter. I made a, uh, a template that you guys can download. So it has like the reference file in it because the whole idea is we're going to take everyone's submissions and we're going to put them together and kind of like loop them together. So they it's like a seamless transition between each character and each walk. So that'll be cool. You just got to make sure you download this uh, Harmony file so everything stays in line. And you can use basically any character you want. You can do it hand-drawn. You can do it with rigs. but um, yeah, you just post your walk, post it in this, in the animation challenge, and at the end of the month, we'll, you know, put everyone's walk together. And again, thanks for, uh, thanks to Tiffany for doing that. That's really nice. So for me, I downloaded that file. I got this rig from Gumroad, Jordan Beatty. You know, he has uh, some great rigs. How's it going? Oram, how you doing, man? Nah, where, where are you calling in from? So today I thought it would be cool because we do walks on this channel a lot, but we, we haven't done a double bounce walk. And uh, that can be pretty tricky. I don't even know if I remember how to do it, but let's let's get going. So I'm going to need some reference. I'm going to do a draw over, right? Because I really want this to be a nice, happy walk full of energy. We'll go here. I'll set the draw over to make it forward in Z depth. And also, guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, on the community page, we we announced the winners to the uh, the Aaron Blaze gift card giveaway. So go check it out. See if you won, and uh, see how to claim your prize. Okay, so first thing, let's, what do we got here? I want this forward. We're going to cheat this a little bit too, because she's in three-quarter position. But we're going to kind of make it look like she's in a profile lock. So that's a nice trick. If you don't really want to do the the feet in perspective you can kind of cheat it a little bit here let's really give her you know a happy posture she's really upright i'm doing well how are you i'm i'm doing great man you know it's been a little busy i was feeling a little sick yesterday but uh you know Nothing too bad that I can't handle. Today in, uh, well, in where I am, like Ontario, it's uh, it's like a nice holiday. It's called like Family Day. So it was a nice little break from, you know, working. <laughs> so we'll get here. Also, again, guys, this is Jordan Beatty's rig. I got it from his gum road. This has been floating around the internet, so it's pretty good. And if you didn't know, he actually started a YouTube channel now. So he's given his tips, and it's uh, really, really informative stuff. So I would check him out as well. Okay, let's see. Do Is there an under... Oh, there's no back to her skirt. There must be. What's this? Oh, 
this rig. Has anyone used this rig before? I think it's called, what's it called? Raf. He's got a bunch of good ones. Ah, good. He didn't leave me hanging with the hands either. Oh, he did. No. Well, whatever. I don't want to draw any new hands, so we'll just work with what we got. So this is my first draw over pass, and anyone knows I love draw overs. And with a walk especially, it's super important to do. Uh, we might have to make our hands open. Yeah, let's that that should work. Suddenly when I start learning image, I start with my old pro, but I want to switch another thing I change. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's uh that's really nice, you know? That's really nice to hear. So how long have you been when did you switch? How long have you been using Toon Boom for? And honestly, uh Moho looks really, really cool. They come out with it with a new update recently, and it looks really, really awesome, kind of the things you can do. I know a lot of people, they say, like, functionally, like, with rigging and stuff, Moho, they like it better than Toon Boom. The only problem is it's hard to integrate it with a whole team of animators and, uh, like, on a production. That's the only issue. All right, let's have a look. But the rigging tools are super powerful in Momo. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how this works a bit. So this, I think, is over everything. Yeah. So we're going to have to adjust the neck. Let's kind of bring her posture back a little bit more. Right? The contacts are really important pose to nail down in your walk. Right? We really want to spend a lot of time getting these right. Because then afterwards, it kind of, the computer does a lot of the work, you know, it falls into place. So maybe we can even, like, have her head squashed a bit. Oh, that's too much. Let's move this up. And these rigs, guys, they're really great, uh, especially for your, if you're making a demo reel. They're high quality rigs, they look good. And it really helps practice for when you're in a studio. So I would 100% recommend trying out these rigs. And I mean, even if you're completely new to Toon Boom, they're not that uh, complex to use, right? There's not a lot of moving pieces. And again, you guys can also download this file, this template file, and uh, join our challenge our walk cycle challenge hmm. what if we have our hands 
I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to get. Uh, Like a nice pose without redrawing these hands. <laughs> that looks okay. Kind of loose, loose and happy. Right, and that's the thing. A, a, a generic walk, you should be able to do that pretty well. So if you're thinking, if you have a generic walk on your demo reel, I would recommend taking it out because it's kind of just expected at that point. You're not really showing them anything cool or like you're not really demonstrating your skills by doing a, a generic walk. If you can give it some personality though, and really take it over the top, then I would consider putting it in my reel. Because then it's something different. It's something it shows the recruiters or whoever's looking at your reel that you think a little bit differently, that, that you know, you bring your animation to that next level. Pretty good, yeah. I I love how Jordan rigs his his uh, characters. Super intuitive, super clean. The node view, and it's they're really fun to use and animate with. Ha! Ah, there he is. How's it going, Sled TV? How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. How's your the personal projects coming? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it like this. All right, let's go to the next pose. Right, and I like this too, this uh, template, because it gives me the spacing for my feet already, right? That's good. We really want to focus on these feet. And like usually the cycles in a show, because when you're working on a show, they'll have that. They'll have like a bunch of walk cycles that you can reuse. Usually they're done by like the senior animators. Um, just because they're so important, you know, to get them right and, and easy to use and looking good. Uh, okay, Orem's been using three months now, so working from home there in two months at the same time. You are right. It's very easy working from home. Yeah, I've actually never used Moho, but the, the controls look really, really cool. I'm not officially going to study, but I can find the rotation transformer. See, I think, I think that's just a constraint. That, that guy, he just renamed the constraint rotation. Because I did the same thing. I looked for the rotation tool, and there isn't one. It's just like uh, it's like for particles or something. So I think it's just a. Uh, oh, I like how these shoulders work actually a lot. But how how's the eye coming? Did you make any progress on it? If you did post it in the in the Discord, I want to see how's it going. Oh, the chat's full, guys. Nicholas is here. How's it going, dude? Have you been? Ah, man, how are you? Que tal? So everyone who just joined, we're doing a uh, a double bounce today. So actually, I kind of forgot I was doing that. 
So we gotta rework this a bit. Uh, yeah, okay. So here, let us also go like this with the hips. And what we're going to do, since it's a double bounce, I'm going to drop her lower on the contacts. So pelvis will go down one. This will go down one. Uh, Todo bien. Hace poco inicié mi práctica profesional en una empresa. Okay, I need to look this up. Hang on. I need to look up some words. A little práctica is exam, professional exam, en una empresa. I don't know what empresa means. Does that mean business? Let's see. Spanish. Company. For your company. Internship. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Nice. So you just started your internship. That's good. How's that going? Link to the Discord. Yes, I can. Link to the Discord. Uh, invite. Here we go. Okay, so basically, in a double bounce, the, the trick is, I think... It's the, the passing poses and the contacts become the down poses. And then the down poses and the up poses become the ups. So there's like, even though the feet are planting in the down, the head bobs up. I think if I remember correctly, because I haven't done this in a long time, that's kind of the the trick to get it to bounce. So she's here. Oops. We'll have this out. Oh, I feel this is already going to take me longer than I expected. I was going to do, I'm working on another shot as well. I'll probably start live streaming that too. But just today, I didn't want to do some hard animation, you know. Oh, my God, the chat is going crazy. So, no se ve aquí. Okay. Estoy, I'm nervous because, but the moment I'm good. Okay, nice. And Nicholas says, I did mention before, thanks, to, thanks for the video resolving the doubts about how to break the hands. Yeah, no problem. Hands are tricky. I'm, I'm working on a, uh, a video as well, how to do arms, because arms are also important. But yeah, the hands are super important as well. I've seen some people try and do a full rig for the hands. I usually just do like a uh, drawing swaps with an overlay, you know, that kind of thing. Here, we'll kind of rotate the body this way. Get some of that action going. 
I don't know if he has like a shoulder patch to cover. Yeah, he does. Knew it. Something's going on there. Yeah, anyone else use any rigs from Jordan Beatty or anyone else? There are a lot of cool free rigs floating around out there. Uh, let's just cheat this. Let's go here. Right, these uh, leggings, this is going to be key in telling us the perspective of the legs. So even here, I think this should be like that. Okay, let's do a drawover. And then hopefully, once we do these drawovers, we won't need to do as many for the other poses. I just realized too, guys, we do walk cycles a lot on this channel. But they are a good way to practice all the, the parts of animation. I'm just trying to get everything to look, you know, proper now. What do you think about the new project, OpenAI, Sora? Oh, I saw that. And I think it's really cool. I mean, if I was like a videographer, I would actually be kind of worried <laughs> about my job. But what I'm really interested in is let's say you are trying to do like a storyboard for a personal project or something. If you just type in your idea, it could just give you a video of it as a reference. And I think that is really, really cool. Um, and I really wanna try it. But they say it gives good results in animation. Ah, man, that would be, I, I want to try it out. I, I couldn't get access to it for some reason. I don't know if it's even out yet. But uh, that would be crazy. Like it, the videos they show, they're cool. But you can tell they're AI generated. But I mean, the uh, I saw this video where they compared it to videos just a year ago and it's like the improvement is crazy so just give it a few more years it's going to be insane if you know how to use ai as a tool exactly i agree 100 percent, and especially now i feel it's a it's going to be a necessity for some animators to keep up, right? So I'm definitely gonna start looking into it, uh, how to use it. Cause like at this point, you know, you can worry about it all you want, but realistically, there's no real stopping it, you know? <laughs> so just try and adapt, I guess. One of these days, if we can get it, I would love to do like a live stream with the AI where we can give, uh, everyone can give their own prompt ideas and we can make like a short film by the end of the hour. So once this sort of thing takes off or you were allowed to use it, we could do something like that. Okay. These are the poses. Maybe I'll move this back a bit. 
Right? Notice how we're cheating the feet. You can sometimes get away with that. I don't even know how this is going to look. Okay, I'm going to mark this in red. And I'll paste it at the end. Okay, so now let's do the passing pose. And this is basically going to be our down pose as well. Because we're going to do a double bounce. So let's make this red. Now for here, I'm going to try and copy what he has in the animator survival guide. He brings the arms. Like this. Hmm. That's weird. Wait a second. Uh, are you doing the key poses? Yeah. So in a walk, I consider the uh, the contacts as the key poses. And then I do the passing poses, which I consider the breakdowns. I don't know why this isn't tweeting. This is weird. There we go. And then the other ones I'll consider like in betweens. What the fuck? What the hell is happening? I don't know. Recently, Toon Boom's keyframes. I don't know if it's just me, but they have been really messing up for me. Like, they don't key all the way down anymore. They don't... Uh, basically that. They don't key all the way down. They tween when they're not supposed to tween. And even copying and pasting, I'm finding it's not working as I want. So that's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's a new, just a new bug in, in the new version of Toon Boom. And here, the reason we do the tweens, guys, is because now we know our feet are constantly moving across the screen. Right? Just because of the, the way the tweens are set up, it, it moves it constantly across at a consistent speed, sorry. This is something they're learning, they're learning, they say it can make it take the place of many animators. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it could. But I feel uh, like to get good results for the AI, you're going to need people to do it, to like, you know, generate the results, get, I don't know. I feel if you know how to use AI to generate things for you as an artist, even if like AI replaces your like everyone else's job, you're still in a good spot because you use it as a tool, you're experienced with it, you know. I think it would be a mistake to ignore it completely. But, you know, what do I know? Slat TV says, have you ever watched Starbarians? No. Has anyone else watched that? What is that? A sh uh, an animated show? Okay, let's get this shoulder in. I think it's... Oh. There we go. Right, and this is my first time using this rig as well, so that's another thing to consider. I feel my animation improves as I get more comfortable using different rigs.
And again, guys, a, a huge shout out to, you probably have seen her in the Discord, Tiffany. She um, organized this contest, really. This was her idea. And I kind of just told her to run with it. So she's been a huge part of this community recently. So big thanks to her. So what we can do, does he, this, it must have a master controller. Oh, it does. It's an animation very partridge. The guys are very good. Uh, single, so. Yeah, I do know him. I was actually watching a bunch of his, his old videos. They're so good of him just rig, like he's rigging and talking. You learn so much. Let's do a different head. But is it, uh, it's on, on YouTube. I guess there's no, uh, There's no tilts. So let's make them ourselves. So for these, let's try and move. Everything this way. Get the back. Oops. Move it over. We'll get the bottom. Move it over. Right? Yeah, see, this rig is very simple. No constraints, nothing. this and now we can copy the head each time see what i mean it doesn't copy when i say there we go oh shit we're just copying the head there we go Very funny. I think you'll like it. Nice. I'll definitely check it out. Okay, so we got one. Right, I like this pose. The hands come in. And the cool thing about this rig is for our next passing pose, we could reuse the upper body, basically. Let's just make sure this is on the ground. Oh, and Claude, you don't have to mute it if you don't want. You, like, it's not a big deal. No, it's fine. It's already muted anyway. I don't feel like it's going to Okay. Right, watch. So we're going to take the upper body and just paste it. There we go. So Okay, we got a nice happy walk. So now what's left to do is the down pose, but the head is going to be up. So Let's see if I remember how to do this. I'm going to go 
to here. We'll go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keeper in there. We, we can time it out later. I'm going to mark my passing poses in blue. It's fucking doing the same thing. I don't know why it's doing it. Like, see, every time I keyframe, and I take between away. Oh, there we go. And also, guys, we did our uh, our first giveaway for this month, the Air and Blaze gift card one. So check out the community page to see if you won. And also, there's still time to enter the uh, 21 Draw membership giveaway. So we're, we're giving away a year of uh, of 21 draw so there's a bunch of art classes you could take and yeah it's pretty cool stuff so here let's move it up move it up so bounce bounce and back Uh, let's see what we're going to do with the hands. We can probably have these like... But we might change the timing of the arms after anyway. What's more important at this stage is the legs. Okay, and see, that that's done. Like, that's... Maybe we can change the foot. Right, let's do this one now. And if you want, right, we'll go upper body but we'll open the peg this time. That's the way we're only getting the up and down movement, right? Copy, paste. Oh, did it work? Ah, no. Well, I don't know, Never mind. <laughs> oh, here we go, the upper body, that's why. We're on the upper body peg, then we paste. That's weird. Oh, because I didn't go on the upper body. I did it on the other ones. Whatever. Uh, uh, what country are you from? I'm from Canada. Yep, good old, good old Canada. Okay, let's do the same thing with the arms. I've been going for 40 minutes, so that's pretty good. I just, I was gonna, I don't have time to record a video today, so I at least wanted to do a stream for you guys, you know? And um, if you're a member too, we're gonna start doing more members only streams, right? Where we, you know, do some different, different stuff, cool stuff. Actually, what it's gonna be is I'm making a, uh, like a, a little short fight scene and all the members streams, it's just going to be me working on that shot. So it could be pretty cool. We'll see what happens. There's not really a specific uh, schedule for those, but I'm trying to do them at least once or twice a month. I right, plans to go there maybe next year. Nice, man. Where in Canada are you planning to go? What the fuck is going on here? Uh, 
Uh, I'm also curious, guys. Anyone use uh, Fiverr around here? If so, what are your thoughts on it? <laughs> She's kind of walking like, uh, I don't even know what. Okay, so if we stop it here and loop it, right, walking a little fast, but it's it's getting there. It's turning into a walk. I have a hard time finding my own style, even though I only watch cartoons. Any advice? Like your art drawing style? So the advice I have basically is don't worry too much about drawing your own style but if you look up things like learn how to draw like a, like hands learn how to draw them properly you know and once you do that once you get comfortable doing that your body you're, you'll just naturally you know stylize it in a way that you like but if you know the fundamentals of how to draw like the structure then uh, i feel that's better than finding a style. Like your style will come no matter what you do. If you just keep drawing, you'll develop your own style naturally. I find it's more effective to kind of, you know, get down to the anatomy, the structure of things, and then your style will come. For drawing. Okay, let's do our last up pose. Anyone else struggling with their style? And if so, what did you guys do to uh, to help? Whoop. What the? Okay, so one, two. See, there, that's the bounce. One, two. Let's get this. This could probably be a little shorter. This could be a little higher. Right, we won't worry too much about the arms yet. We can always do them separately if we don't like them. Okay. Now we got this last tween in there. I mean, I'm not really worried about being too accurate with the, making it the same up and down movement. So I think that's fine. This be a little shorter. I'd probably use my onion skin to see where it's going. A little higher. Just like that. Look at that, guys. That's a that's a double bounce if I ever saw one. A little fast. <laughs> Actually, way too fast, but we'll extend the timing. Would you, Mr. Eric says, would you just say if the background wasn't scrolling as well, like here trying to the screen? Yeah, I would. So in a, in a studio, usually they have walk cycles that you can grab and they're going to be on the spot like this, right? As long as the feet are, the spacing is even for the feet, it shouldn't be too hard to go in and plant the feet after. So after this walk, I'll show you how we can move this character across the screen. The screen. Uh, the screen. I love this character. Yeah, honestly, it's great. Like, I don't know if Jordan Beatty designed it, but it looks cool. 
And also to think, Mr. Eric, too, that's why I do this. It's because let's say I need to uh, modify this walk. Now I can just modify it once in this cycle, and then I can repaste the cycle as it's moving across the screen. But if I were to do it like manually moving this guy and doing the walk that way, I'd have to make more edits. It'd be harder to adjust. Okay. So let's go like this. Let's add a frame here, a frame there. Because I want her to stay in the air a little bit longer. So if I'm here, how does this look? I mean, maybe we could just... Add more. That might be too slow now. Let's see. I mean, I like it, actually. We turn this off. That's a pretty nice bounce. And I think we accidentally have been getting some good second, like, overlapping action on the hair. Okay. And I kind of like how the arms... Let's go into the arms now and see if we need to adjust them. Like, I, I, I kind of like what we have. Like this. Maybe we can move this a little bit more. This way. A little more drag. Here, she's up, and then let's drag them up. Actually, no, that's fine. Let's drag the hand a little more here. There. I'm liking that, guys. Okay, let's do the, the skirt. Let's add some secondary action on the skirt now. Because at this point, we're pretty much done. So let's kind of do... This might be too much. I don't exactly know how this skirt works either. There's that. Like if we flare it out as she goes down. I don't exactly know what this is. So let's see. Like if we have this kind of action, it might be too much, but it also might work. So here, let's paste that at the end. I'm just gonna do it individually though. But we'll raise it up, give it a little bit more, you know, interest. Let's see how that looks. And can it, can everyone see? Is this too small? Let me make my timeline a little bit bigger. Yeah, I like that. Up, down. And then I can actually copy this passing pose. Yeah, see, it, like you have to do it twice, and I don't, I don't know why Toon Boom has been doing that. 
Does anyone know when the new version of Toon Boom's coming out? Oh, there we go. That looks a lot better. Right? Adds a little bit of secondary action. Can you guys see? Nice. Right? The small things now. Um, everything else is fine. Let's do the hair. I think the hair is what's really going to bring this over the top. Well, first of all, actually. Actually, no. I can tween it after. How does this work? Oh, okay. So we got the hair here. What we can do is, if you go to tool properties, and I think you press this, we can circle select all of these at once. And now we press this button. I still got to set up a shortcut for it. But now we can go, see that? We can manipulate all of these deformers at once just like pegs like if we move this pivot point right we can squash and stretch them and grab them it's a really nice way to handle a lot of deformers uh let's copy it here so we want to go like this And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out these frames. So this down, passing up, contact. We're going to go from contact to contact. It's going to go here and then here. So you got to select it. And now we'll go like this. Rotate it the other way. See how that looks. So between it, let's see. Right, we'll add some ease. We'll go 35, 35. I don't know, I'm just random number. Right, it's it's pretty choppy because it's on ones and everything else is on fours. So, but if we keyframe it, get rid of these, and let's go to our tweens and and zero everything out. This should be okay. Right, two moves kind of does that. If you're using the graph editor, if you like drag frames around or key, re-key things, things get like messed up pretty quick. So like everything's at zero. Okay, just this one. I don't know why that's there. There. It's looking pretty good. Let's get this hair moving. So let's go in the opposite direction though this time. Uh, we don't need this. Let's have the hair start swinging this way. And that way. Oh, I don't like that though. Boom, boom. There. There. 
we're just copying and pasting frames because they're basically the same. Play it. Mm, I don't like that. That's too much movement. So. Let's kind of do the same thing. Oops. So on the next contact, that's when we'll bring it the other way. Okay, so it's a little offset. Same thing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Copy this, paste it there. And there we go. Right, we'll do this. We'll do a different ease as well. We'll go like 25, 25, 25, 25. Oops, 25. See how that looks. Yeah, it's a little offset. That looks good. Right now is kind of the fun part. Like basically the walk is done. We're just like adding the the extra bits, you know. I probably could have squashed her a little bit more as she went down. Right, take a look. It's looking okay. The hair's moving. The skirt's moving. Everything's moving. What we can do, let's make her even happier though. Let's. Let's close these eyes. Kevin Adams says it looks great. Thank you, my friend. I haven't done a double bounce walk in a long time. Hmm. We could try, if you guys want, to do the hair as well. So instead, as the head comes down, I don't want it to be too much though. This might be too much. There we go, up, down. Up, down. Maybe it's too much. No, actually, that that seems like it it fits a lot. Okay, hair's done. Oh, let's. Get rid of this. I'm just gonna. I want the whole face to be to be down like this. Right. And what we could do this might mess up the hair though. If we squash the head. Yeah, it might be too late for that. Let's see if we can squash the face, though. So as the face goes up, we can bring the face down. Oh, 
and same thing. We'll just it's going to be the same three frames till the end. Right now, she's really enjoying whatever she's doing. Right, the thing is though with this template, the it's really tiny. <laughs> uh what else? What else? What else? Just around an hour, we're I would say that's almost done. Like now. We can try a few more things. Let's try this. The halo. Um, let's start it a little higher and then let's have it come down. Right. Just like that. See how that looks. No, that might be too much. <laughs> yeah, I think that's too much. Let's undo that. But it's good. It's good to try. It's good to try some stuff. You know, you never know. Uh, the wings. Should we do something with these wings? Oh, shit. I didn't even notice this. What's going on here? Did I just mess this up, or was this always messed up? Hmm. I think the wings are fine. Right now, let's see what happens. The last thing we can do. Is let's put this on. Two. So if we fill in. Look at that. She's bouncing. She's just, you know, vibing out. That looks great. The hand is a little choppy now that I'm watching it. But it might change when we put it on twos. So. so we can try. Let's go to the arms. I'm going to delete this. And we'll see what happens if we ease in, don't ease in, and ease out. Or sorry, ease out and ease into our contact here. How does the arm look? That's a little bit better. So then here, now we can kind of, you know, adjust the hand ourselves. There we go. Count it out. Right, and we're working right on the arm peg. So nothing is really, we're not losing any animation. So here, as it comes in, we can like delay the hand ourselves now. It's just a little smoother. See that arm? Yeah, I'm liking that. So let's do the same thing with the back arm. We'll go in. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this, this, this. And we'll go to so 35, 0, 35. 
zero thirty-five. Right, and just by accident too. Now the arms are moving at different times, which I kind of like. So here we can kind of fix these poses. Right, just move it. There we go. We want to drag the arm a little more, just like that. Right, and it's smooth because we're using those tweens. And when we fix this part, right, it fixes it the whole time. So the tweens work out even better. Let's see. There we go. That looks way better, guys. I mean, also, too, like the arm kind of shows through her, her hair. We technically shouldn't see it. But I mean, like, it would be boring without that second arm. Let's try. Um, let's just convert everything to twos. So I go here. Convert to twos. Whatever. Right, and it should handle some of those imperfections. There you go. That's looking great. Yeah, double bounces are really good. You know, they're so they're super fun, super energetic too. And like it, it adds so much. And they're really not that hard to do. You just change the contact, the passing, the two contacts and passings. You just change them to downs. And then everything else is up. There she says, uh, she's, she looks like Starburst. <laughs> yeah. She is by, yes. What do you guys think? Should we put that back arm behind her hair? I'm not sure. But now, if I was going to move her across the screen to answer, uh, you know, Mr. Eric's question, we could. So for, for this challenge, we won't because everyone needs to have their walk cycle in the exact same spot. So if you're doing this challenge, don't move her across. You just keep her here. And then you can move the background across. Kevin says, people won't even notice. I leave it like that. Yeah, I agree. I like to see the arm anyway, as well. Yeah, I guess I'll add a background later because I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll AI generate one. And then see, just go in, small fixes now, like this, and, okay, and for the challenge, guys, you want, this is how you want to, extend the walk all the way to the end, right? We wanted 120 frames. Keep it in place, and then you could put a background, um, whatever background you like that you can move. So again, if you want to participate in our Discord, I'll pull it up now. In our Discord, in the animation channel, right here is the the, the rules. You know, the deadlines. And, uh, oh, actually, too, when you submit your scene, like, it, this gives you the, the specs that you need to submit it as, like, when you export it. And I'm going to create a 
actually Tiffany already did it. There's a Google Drive link. You just drop your files in here, and then at the end, we'll take them all and uh, put them together. Right, so here is the, the scene template. You just download this, and uh, you get the reference. You just line up your character with the reference and have fun, you know? You can create any cool background. You can do whatever you want. Just any, like, female character, right? Because it's uh, Women's March Month. That's what we're kind of celebrating here. Yeah, guys, that's my submission. I'm going to finish this up, and I'll drop it in the Dropbox. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys uh, do. They can be any kind of walk, right? The sillier, the better. You know, really challenge yourself. Really push yourself. It'll be, I think it'll be really fun. So, yeah, guys, it's been an hour. It's 9.30 here. I'm going to log off. But, uh, yeah, thanks for just stopping by, guys. We're getting more and more people on these streams, so it's more fun. Um, the Discord is, is pretty lively now, so post some of your work in there. And, yeah, guys, we'll see you, we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks, everybody.